being born Jewish, and as the, the terminology, I guess, goes, FFB, from, from birth, uh, Yiddishkeit really does have, a, in my mind, a continuity. Clearly, there's got to be a belief system and a, and a spirituality. To, to, you, need to perfect, you need generally to accept the, the belief in, in God, in Hashem, and that the commandments, the positives and the negatives, are a requirement to, to do. That's the beginning. But at the same time, it, it's an interesting aspect to sit down sometimes and if someone's davening, praying, or, or learning with their child, to really get an idea that there is a continuity to this is how, how I learned to daven. My father sat with me. And, and you know, how I learned to, to read Chumash and how I learned to, to, to do you know, the Aleph Bez. And you turn back and go, you know something? There's so much of what we do, which you go back a generation or two or three, which really isn't very different from what was going on 10 or 20 or 30 generations ago, either here in America, where, believe it or not, yes, there were Jews, of, traditional Jews of all types in America a couple hundred years ago, and going back in Europe and Jews around the world, I feel sometimes if I travel um, domestically or outside the country, and, it, it, you know, it's Shabbos, and you need to go somewhere, you walk in and there, there is an aspect, it, it, sounds, it sounds a bit sappy, but you walk into a shul anywhere in the world and you can pick up a sitter and there's... There's that connection. There's that feeling of really be, you know, saying you're home. And interestingly enough, it, it you know, goes back almost to some of those food brands where if you're a, you know, that kosher consumer and you're, you're out shopping somewhere for a Shabbos or for something to eat and you're outside of your, your, home, your home territory and you're in a supermarket or a place you don't know, you, you feel a connection when you can know you can pick up that, that food item, that kosher brand that's there. And there's, there's really that, um, that brotherhood to a certain extent, sisterhood, I guess, to an extent also, of course. But you really find that there's a continuity. It, it transcends, of course, the, the belief system. It transcends the, the, the obligation that you, know, you have to do the positive mitzvot and, and not to do other things. But that connection that some of those things, you know, we've read it, we've seen it, you know, empires have risen and fallen over, over hundreds of thousands of years. You find, you know, the Romans have come and gone, the Greeks have come and gone. And some of those countries might still be there, but at the end of the day, Jews have been lighting candles on Friday night since pretty much the beginning of time. And it's something that really makes a big difference. You sit down, especially now in the winter time, I almost find it, I've said this to people, you know, Shabbos comes in a bit earlier now in terms of the timing. You know, 4.30 in the afternoon on Friday, <coughs> my wife lights candles, I'm getting my kids off, we go to shul, and the world, you know, is, is going crazy. And it's different. On a Saturday, you feel, okay, the world, everybody's maybe not working. But on a Friday night, the work day is still going on. And you light candles, you shut it down, and it really goes back and connects to a very different, on a different level than, than almost anything else you could find.